Happy October, Virgo. Happy October. This is your astro tarot reading for the month of October. And Virgo, that Mercury retrograde, well, how did it treat you? Because it was definitely in your sun sign for a brief period of time. And it allowed you to take a look at yourself and to prepare you for moving forward with new ventures. And all this, although this retrograde may have caused you to overlook your finances, it ended up in your sign. But financial wellness is going to be a major focus for you this month. And that financial focus starts on the ninth with the full moon. So this full moon is in the sign of Aries. And it highlights your finances, your money, how you're doing with your money. How are you doing with your money, Virgo? We know that you are one of the most hardest working signs in the Zodiac. And how you treat your money is very important. So this full moon is in the sign of Aries and it's going to highlight your finances. And with this moon connecting with abundance planet Jupiter, there's going to be different ways of increasing your money and creating some long-term financial prosperity. And I know that sounds good to you. Hallelujah. Long-term financial prosperity, Virgo. Oh, yes. On the 10th, the day after the full moon, Mercury, your ruler, enters your financial sector as well and causes your mind to churn and come up with some stronger plans to increase your cash flow and how you spend your money on a daily basis. So you got two things going on right now. How you grow your money, invest your money, and how you spend your money and how you increase your money. There's going to be a lot of things about money coming up for you this month. But let me just say this to you. Don't just rely on your left brain, that logical part of your brain, because you can be very logical. Okay, you are ruled by Mercury, and that is the planet of mental thinking, mental awareness. But you'll have a lot of increase in your intuition because the new moon solar eclipse on the 25th is going to highlight your mental sector. So the new moon is in the sign of Scorpio, the sign of psychic energy. And that's going to bring and allow you to have more psychic awareness and make some good decisions for yourself. So you have two things going. You got that left part, left part of your brain, the logical part of your brain working for you. And you also have the intuitive part of your brain, that right part of your brain working for you as well. So this is a great month to plan and brainstorm because your mental sector will have both the sun enlightenment and light and growth and you'll have venus in your mental sector and what does venus bring venus brings charm you know venus is a very clever planet because it attracts things into your life so you're going to be attracting some things in your life on a positive level so that's going to be really really good for you okay virgo and with a sort of planet mars now in your career sector you're going to have a lot of energy and a lot of thought given to your work conditions. So Mars goes retrograde on the 30th. And it's going to allow you to rethink some things, you know. Take a few steps backwards. And maybe redo the structure of your career. Do you want to do this, do that, or do it a different way? And don't be surprised if your plans, you know, uh, keep you up at night. You may not be able to sleep, you know. Because you know you are a, bu a busy sign, so it may have a lot of mind power going there. And then you will realize that this is the time to make corrections and you want to do it this month and do it now. But the but the planet Jupiter is going to take a step backwards on the 28th and it's going to go into your love sector. Now listen, Virgos, you know, you are the caregivers of the Zodiac and it's time for you to get some love. You need to be loved too, okay? It's not always good for you to just be giving out love. You got to be a receiver of love as well. And do not be surprised if people from your past come back or you have the chance to change a few things in your current partnership for the better, Jupiter brings understandings and freedom of what you need and it's going to happen for you. So that is good. So Virgo, that was the astral reading of your uh, reading. And now I have the tarot part of the reading. So I have three decks of cards. Here we go. And let's just see what message the tarot cards have for you this month. This month. The first card is success and growth. Well, 
There's going to be a lot of success in money and growth in money. Yay! Positive, Virgo. Very, very positive. So ask yourself, is there something you need to do with your career that's a little differently? Do you want to progress? Is there some steps that you're thinking that would help you get the, a career that you want? So this is the month to do that, to go ahead and take those steps. And the second card is, the second card is, oh, the Ace of Wands. Wow, the Ace of Wands. New ventures, new things. This could be new work, new projects. Um, a new venture comes your way. A new business, a new avenue of income. Very good. Wow, you got a great reading so far, Virgo. And let me just see what this third, third deck of cards did. Third deck of cards, here we go. Third deck is the uh, Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is to be very careful who you hang with. Now, let me just say this to you. When things start growing around you, the energy of growth and prosperity comes around you, other people can feel it as well. They can see that there's something different about you, that things are beginning to open and grow for you. And they sit back and they watch, and then you get those vampires. Be very careful who you hang with. Someone may try to stop your progress, stop your ideas, stop your energy, you know, make things negative for you. So be very careful of who you align yourself with. Don't be telling a lot of your plans to people. Keep them to yourself and continue to grow and prosper because there's going to be new projects coming your way or new avenues of opening to increase your income. And just know, just know, Virgo, that success and growth is coming your way. Wow. This is going to be a wonderful October for you. But listen, if you want me to take a look at your planets, what is going on in your chart? What is going on in your chart? Especially with that Mars. Okay, so let's face it, Virgo, that Mars is going to be squaring you. Square is a stressful aspect, but it doesn't have to mean negative. It can mean that it's not going to allow you to sit still in some area. There may be some area in your life that you've been dragging your feet. You, did you have not had the chance to focus on because you've been so busy with other things? But that planet Mars is going to make you take a, a advantage of what it is that you need to do, turn your attention to it, and prompt you to get off your behind and do something that's more worthwhile in your life, okay? Also, be very careful of people getting on your nerves. Because people may not like that you have a different attitude about doing things. You know, they're kind of used to you doing things a certain way. And if you change your rhythm, they get annoyed. So this is your life and you do what's good for you. But be very careful of people trying to interfere in your growth process, okay? So if you would like a personal reading for me to take a look at your cards, your planets, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com. And let me take a look at what's going on for you and have a wonderful October. And thank you.